everybody, Alexandra here, and I hope you guys are all staying nice and safe and healthy and indoors and not driving each other too crazy yet because I know we're just at the beginning of this, but that's kind of why I wanted to do today's video. In light of everything that is going on, I figured we needed something a little more fun, upbeat, kind of lighthearted, maybe even educational. So if you guys end up liking this video, let me know down below in the comment section or give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. But if you guys do end up liking this, maybe I'll make more of these in the future. If you're new here, again, my name is Alexandra. I hope you stay with us and hit that subscribe button. So let's get on into today's video. So today's video is 10 things that you probably didn't know about makeup and the brands behind them, but possibly should. All right, first, we are going to talk about the ABH, so Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. So I actually learned something, a very fun fact about the ABH palettes from a brand ambassador, something I did not know. So if you look at any ABH palettes, they are actually broken up into quads. So you can literally break any ABH palette into a little four quad. So like this four quad, 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 this one, whatever four quad you want. And actually that creates a look. Anastasia herself personally sets her palettes up this way so that people can, you know, put together a look at, with ease, which I thought was really cool and different and something that I definitely did not know about ABH palettes that I wanted to share with you guys. All right. The next thing, Benefits Benetint. So we all know and love this wonderful lip and cheek tint. If you haven't seen it before, I will show you what it looks like right here. I absolutely love it. This is probably one of my daughter's favorite products that I own. But a lot of people did not know that this product was actually originally created for an exotic dancer back in the 1970s. Are you ready for this? As a nipple tint. <laughs> That's right. This was actually originally created as a nude nipple tint for an exotic dancer, according to Benefit's website. Back in the 1970s, I kind of thought that was a fun little fact. So now you have these bright, beautiful red colors that we all know and love. And now they're lip and cheek tints. All right. The next fun fact. Have you ever heard the saying that more expensive does not actually mean that it's better. Well, that might come from the fact that Nestle actually owns L'Oreal, who owns and manufactures, are you ready for this? Lancome, Yves Saint Laurent, Giorgio Armani, Urban Decay, Maybelline, and NYX. On the flip side of that coin, Estee Lauder also owns a ton of brands, including Bobbi Brown, Smashbox, Tom Ford, and Too Faced. And then Sea Beauty actually manufactures Tati Beauty, Kylie Cosmetics, KKW, and you guessed it, ColourPop. All right, so the Better Than Sex Mascara. We all know and love this mascara. It is a favorite amongst many. And why? Because of that beautiful hourglass shape. But a lot of people did not know that Jared Bandino actually created this hourglass shape from, you guessed it, Marilyn Monroe's body type. That's right, all the curves and more. All right, so let's talk about lipstick for a second. We all know and love lipstick. Back in the day, lipstick actually used to signify class. When you wore red lipstick during the day, when you wore it at night, you were a woman of the night. But if you actually go back even further than that during the Queen Elizabeth period, and I'm talking like Queen Elizabeth the first, people actually believe that lipstick could work magic and possibly even ward off death. So much, in fact, that Queen Elizabeth actually credited lipstick to having life-saving powers when she fell ill. She applied it so heavily that when she died, she actually had nearly a half an inch of lip rouge on her lips. That is insanity. All right, fast forward a little bit and the belief in lipstick's mystical powers actually caused such an uproar from the church and state that they deemed the application of lipstick sinful. They posted pictures and flyers of devils putting on lipstick and women actually had to address their lipstick use in church during confession. Now, by the time the law stepped in in parliament, they actually declared lipstick and makeup, any makeup, and using makeup to deceive an Englishman into marriage was punishable as witchcraft. Now, on the other side of the world, the geishas loved a good red lip. And that's not all they loved. They loved that milky, white, delicate skin. Can you guess the main ingredient that geishas use to get that white skin? 
if you guessed nightingale poop, you are correct. And you can actually still today get a geisha facial, which includes nightingale excrement. Now, here's a good one for you people that live in Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Did you know that women actually can't wear makeup there without a permit? Did you apply for your licensing? <laughs> No, but seriously, this is actually a law currently in Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Now, of course, they don't uphold it and you don't actually have to go get a permit, but it still is an active law that hasn't been repealed yet, which I thought was insanity. All right. And the last and the final fun fact today about makeup, can you guess what is the most common injury that women and or men get while applying makeup? If you guess scratching the eye with a mascara wand, you are correct. That is the number one most common injury when you are applying makeup. All right, you guys, so that is all I have for you all today. If you enjoyed this video, as I said, give it a thumbs up or comment down below. That lets me know that you guys would like to see another one of these. And I will definitely be more than happy to make another one because it was a ton of fun to learn and research some of these fun little facts for you guys. and. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. So that is all I have for you today. Until next time, see ya.